Stage one's a start of pushers. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9's configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Forty-seven seconds into flight, we just heard the tail end of avionics call out nominal. Falcon 9 heading through the clouds at Cape Canaveral, powered on 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We're throttled down for passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle supersonic. We're supersonic, heading out of the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. And now the call out, we're through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As we get into the thinner areas of Earth's atmosphere, the loads are now decreasing on the Falcon 9. Now we're getting ready for chill-in of the upper stage engine. Similar to the first stage, we'll begin flowing liquid oxygen to the pumps. And we've heard the call out, MVAC D chillin' has begun. 15, Top and go. 14, green 13, board. There's 12, that green board call, 11, that is great. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Liftoff of the final Delta II. Launching nearly three decades of science research and exploration missions, lifting ISAT-2 on a quest to explore the polar ice sheets of our constantly changing home planet. Now 27 seconds into flight. 30 seconds in, Mach 1, Delta-2 is now supersonic. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-27, both veneer engines as well, uh, seeing consistent uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures as well. And at T plus 46 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And at 57 seconds in, we have wet burnout on the uh, solid rocket motors, seeing good responses. And we have burnout on all four motors to and Delta will hold on to those motors for an additional 20 seconds prior to jettison. Now one minute, 20 seconds in, standing by for motor jettison. And we have good indication, indication of jettison of all four solid rocket motors. Now one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Continuing to see good chamber pressure on the RS-27, good chamber pressures on both veneer engines as well. And stable pressures on the uh, fuel and oxidizer injector pressures.
Water system has been activated at the launch deck. Flight mode on. And you see the liftoff of the HTV-7 vehicle making its way to the International Space Station right on time, carrying more than five tons of equipment, including new batteries for the Space Station's electrical power system and, and equipment that will help increase the International Space Station's science capabilities. We have a liftoff of the HTV launch vehicle number seven with core control with seven aboard from the JAXA Tanegashima Space Center at 2.50 to 27 a.m. Japan Standard Time on September 23, 2018. Following liftoff, the operation control of the launch vehicle has been switched from the blockhouse to the range control center. Just over one minute and two to the flight of the HTV-7 transfer vehicle to the International Space Station. At the two minute and six second mark, we will see the solid rocket boosters, the four solid rocket boosters at the base of the H-2B rocket separate from the rocket, having completed their uh, duty in getting the rocket off the launch pad and on its way to space. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage EAP et décollage VA 243 sans Ariane 5. La propulsion est nominale. Trajectoire toujours nominale. Coming up on separation of the boosters, hopefully we will see that with our own eyes. We've been very lucky to have such beautiful clear skies tonight. Separation des deux EAP. And we have confirmation there of the separation of the two boosters. So we are shedding weight. They burnt their propellant. We don't need them anymore. And you can see them there. Stop, 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 stop,